chilling. I am driving for an interview, actually. It's about 35 minutes outside Missoula. Um, but after the interview, we're going fishing. This is a river I'm super unfamiliar with. I honestly haven't fished it much. So today I'm gonna take the camera with me and we're gonna, I'm just gonna be talking with you guys, kind of letting you know how I try and pick apart a new river and also tactics I'm gonna be using since it's cold and in the winter time. So tactics I'm using and how I pick apart a new river all in one. So let's go get this interview over with, secure the job, hopefully, and then, uh, I got like four or five hours of daylight left to fish, so another vid coming your way. Let's do it. forgot to put those in the car. Yeah, those are frozen. Sick. Alrighty. I'm uh, all weighted up. Just throwing on the top jacket. This is my Cryptek waiting jacket. It's so nice. It's like a raincoat and a windbreaker, but it also gets wet and dry super quickly. If you guys want 20% off Cryptek products, make sure you shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll give you the promo code. They're growing in the fishing industry, so it's pretty sick. I'm gonna rig up. We're gonna set up a nymph rig and a streamer rig. I rigs today, all of Sex Dungeon, on a all floating with like a crazy light sink tip. And then on the native, I'm gonna nymph this little flashy size 16 flashback hairs here, and I've got like a little size eight, really heavy tungsten rubber leg, one little split shot for no reason, and a bobber. All right, rods are rigged. We're gonna walk down to the river. Hopefully not slip and fall. I'm gonna hike upstream, throw on the GoPro, and we're just gonna start working down. Um, I'm gonna probably run through the run with the streamer first swing it through nice and slow, and then back it up with the nymph, see if we can swing a couple fish up, swing fish up, and then slop fish up with the nymph rig. Uh, let's go. All right, we're hiking up right now. Gonna go a ways up. And uh, see if we can do some good. I'm gonna hike kind of a ways up so then I can just fish down. It's gonna be a lot more nice. All right, first run up there was a no-go. This one I got a good feeling about. So we have a couple funnels. They all funnel down into this big rock right here. I'm gonna zoom in on that. It's moving a little bit quick, but there's a hole right there I'm gonna nymph up. There's that rock in the river right there, that one, that's causing a break, and then there's a seam line right down that whole run. It's gonna be great for nymphing. And then we're talking about those deep tail outs in the winter. So there's a big break behind this rock. And then this is all deep. And the tail out doesn't dramatically go from, you know, a four foot hole to a foot deep. This tail out drags out into four feet, three feet, a very nice deep hole. Maybe potentially even five to six feet. A very deep hole. And we're going to swing a streamer through that tail out. And then we're going to really nymph this slow seam water right out in front where it funnels down into one section where fish can potentially stack up in the winter because fish like to hang around each other. And that's disgusting.
Oh, of course I wasn't rolling. Nice brown. I'll take that. There we go. Ooh, hammered it in the tail out. That's a sweet fish, honestly. Whoo! Nice, deep, slow tail out. Slow, deep, nice brown there. Oh yeah. Whoo! That's a beauty. Beauty winter fish. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's try and roll the GoPro on the next fish. My goodness. Of course I wasn't rolling, but that worked out for us. My GoPro died right after I kind of tailed the fish, but basically just, just the water we've been talking about, man, that super, super slow deep tail out. I'm having to huck a far cast. I'm like balls deep in the river. Far cast. I'm just like slowly bumping it, stripping it. I'll try and get one on camera. Kind of unfortunate. That was first fish of the day, so. There we go. Far cast. Let it sink. Bump, bump, doogie, doogie. There's another fish. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh! That one felt way bigger. Oh, holy smokes. Oh my goodness. I thought I hit bottom. So I started like bouncing all weird, but I strip set and he came like right at me, right as I hooked him. Oh my goodness, no. That one was towel, wet towel, head shakes. That's kind of what I know when it's a bigger fish. It's just big rolling head shakes. Oh my gosh, I tried to strip down on him and everything. That's like two fish and three casts in this tail out. That might've been a fish. Unless it was bottom. There we go. There we go. That looks nice too. There we go. I had a feeling that fish hit it and came back. Another good fish. I think we got another brown. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice brown. Another nice brown. Holy smokes. That's a bigger one than the last one. That one will go 20. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yes. But this tail out has produced two browns back to back casts on that olive sex dungeon. That is so sick, so, so sick. Uh, we've been working a lot of faster water. This is the slowest water I've hit. It's almost like a lake section but it's just got a slight movement to it. It's got depth, following that practically a floating line, but I've got like an intermediate tip on there, just helping all that uh, line streamer stay suspended in the middle of the column. And that's, that's probably a 20 inch fish. Thank you, buddy. There he goes.